Hi guys! It is time for ear stretching episode 5, I believe. And I will be going from a 12 to a 10. This is what I've got here. My little sterilizing pit. I have my tapers and my gauges in there. You don't even really need two tapers. If you re-sterilize one after you use it, I see no need to buy two. But that's what came in my set. And I've got this, which I got from the same place that I got this, only instead of being 14 to 0, it is 10 to 0. And the zeros are unnecessary because I'm not going to go that big, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take out these, which they just went out just fine. They didn't hurt or anything. These don't, like for all that I complained about them, they don't get as dirty as the other ones did. I can imagine these ones that I'm about to use being dirty like my last ones. Alright, so here's Taper Numu Uno, which I will rinse off. And I think I'll leave it wet. And just kind of wipe it off a little bit. I was recommended to use vitamin E oil for stretching, but haven't gotten to that yet, so. Alright. And it is going through very easily. No pain at all. And I'll just let that hang there while I rinse off the plug. And this one, I'm going to dry off a little bit. <laughs> I actually got it to go straight through. That was cool. I don't know why I'm so impressed, but I am. So, whatever. Alright, now we need one of these. And it's getting these on that I think is going to just be the most difficult part because one of the little spacer things fell out off of one of my zeros that came in that pack when I was looking them over after I opened them and I could not get it back on for the life of me. Alright, that seems to be fine. That is what that looks like. And now the hole in the front is a much more accurate like view of what my ear looks like. And in the past videos I've shown like me doing the next ear. But I've been thinking and it's not even really necessary. So I'm not going to do that this time, and if you guys think it's helpful or something, if I do both ears or whatever, let me know, but I see, I don't see how it makes a difference. But yeah, so I hope that that was helpful to those of you who are stretching. The oil advice is probably really good, and I should get that before I stretch to these bigger sizes. But until then, and if you have any advice and have looked through the comments on my earlier videos, let me know.